What's up guys, Country Boy here with Team Yeti Gaming, bringing you another OP Smite How-To Guide. Now, if you've ever played against a Kali, then I feel your pain. She actually ranks number two in my most annoying god category. However, though, I cannot deny that she is a killing machine and can rip through basically any enemy with ease. Unless they got thorns, then you can. So let's get started with this build, shall we? Start out with Assassin's Blessing. T1 boots and a few potions if you're playing Conquest. Any other game mode, I'll actually wait for the 50 gold and then I'll go into the T3 Ninja Tabi. Now, next, I'll build Hasten Katana, Quin Sai, Stone Cutting Sword, Blood Forge, and round it up with Titan's Bane. Now, like I always mention, every game is different, so you may need to actually change your build up some. You may need some anti heal. Maybe there isn't a tank character on the other team, or maybe the entire enemy team is tanks. So here's a few items that will also work well with Kali. Odysseus Bow, Executioner, Aussie, Brawler's Beat Stick, Mantle of Discord, and the Crusher, just to name a few. Now that's the full build and some alternative items. I want to actually go over her abilities with you. First is her passive, Marked for Death. Now you select the enemy god, preferably a soft target with no escape. Kali gains physical pin against that god and heals 80% of her max health for killing that god or 15% for an assist. The penetration gets plus 1% each level. Now if the god dies, the next closest god gets the mark. Next is the Nimble Strike. This is a leap that deals damage to enemies and heals for 20% of their missing health. Can you kind of see where we're going at why I say she's number two on the most annoying list? Now her second ability, Lash, throws out three blades. Each does damage and causes bleed. A colleague gains physical life steal against targets affected by this bleed. Now her third ability, Incense, is a one second stun and a physical power debuff. Now I would recommend in actually finding a target that you have marked, jumping in and using your incense to stun and debuff the target. Then use your lash so all three blades will hit and do triple the amount of damage. Lastly, use your basic attacks to inflict as much damage as possible. Now if you think you're going to die before you can secure the kill, use your ult. What is her ult, you say? Well, upon activation, Kali becomes an unstoppable force of destruction, creating a damage aura around her. During this time, she can be reduced to one health, but cannot die. She is immune to knock-ups, slows, and roots, but can actually still be stunned. Now, do you see why she's one of the most annoying gods to play against? Loki still takes the number one spot, though. Now it's time for the skin and relic wrap up. The relics that I use are beads, agus, weakening curse, and sprint. Now the skin that I most like with Kali is Val Kali, ready the long boats. Now I hope you enjoyed this video guys and I hope it was informative. If you did, make sure you give us a thumbs up and if you're not already a member, consider hitting that subscribe button and turning on notifications so you never miss another video. I'm Country Boy from Team Yeti Gaming and I hope I see you in the next one.